reviewing fractions and decimals. A fraction is a number which shows a part of a whole. Example, one whole circle. Example number two shows one half of this circle is shaded while one half of the circle is not shaded. One half plus one half is equal to one whole or one half times two is equal to one. This particular circle shows one-fourth of the circle is shaded, whereas three-fourths of the circle are not shaded. One-fourth plus one-fourth plus one-fourth plus one-fourth is equal to one, or one-fourth times four is equal to one. This particular circle shows one-eighth of this circle is shaded. One-eighth times eight is equal to one. This circle shows one-sixteenth of this circle is shaded. 1 16th times 16 is equal to 1. This shows one part out of three parts which are shaded, which is equivalent to 1 third. This diagram shows three parts out of eight parts which are shaded, which is equivalent to 3 eighths. This diagram shows two parts out of five parts which are shaded, which is equivalent to 2 fifths. This diagram shows six parts out of eight parts which are shaded, which is equivalent to six eighths. Six eighths is equal to three fourths. This diagram shows two parts out of four parts which are shaded, which is equivalent to two fourths. Two fourths is equal to one half. Money fractions. One dollar is equal to one hundred pennies. One dollar is also equivalent to 20 nickels. One dollar is equal to 10 dimes. One dollar is equal to four quarters. One dollar is equal to two half dollars. Another way to illustrate this, one penny is equivalent to one one hundred of a dollar. One one hundred is equal to 100 divided by one dollar is equal to one cent. One nickel is equivalent to one twentieth of a dollar. One over 20 divided 20 into one dollar is equal to 0 0.05 of five cents. One dime is equivalent to one tenth of a dollar. One over 10 is equal to divide 10 into one dollar is equal to 10 cents. One quarter is equivalent to one fourth of a dollar. One fourth divide four into one dollar is equivalent to 25 cents. One half dollar is equivalent to one half of a dollar. One half divide two into one dollar is equal to 50 cents. Fractions and decimals. There are two types of fractions, common fractions and decimal fractions. One eighth is a common fraction but is equivalent to 0.125 as a decimal fraction. One fourth is a common fraction, but is equivalent to 0.25 as a decimal fraction. Three eighths is equivalent to 0.375. One half is equivalent to 0.5. Seven tenths is equivalent to 0.7. Now I'm going to review how to change one eighth into a decimal fraction. In order to change 1 8 to a decimal fraction, we divide 8 into 1. Remember that we have to place a decimal point behind the 1 and also add a 0. Take the decimal point straight up in your answer above the decimal point that is in the problem. 8 will divide into 10 one time. One time 8 is 8. 8 from 10 leaves 2. Add a 0. Bring the 0 down. 8 divides into 20, 2 times, 2 times 8, 16, subtract, 20 minus 16 leaves 4, add a 0, bring the 0 down, 8 divides into 40, 5 times, 5 times 8 is 40, subtract, you get 0, therefore 1 8 is equivalent to 0.125. Say you're working as a graphic artist and you're handed this sheet of paper and it gives you various margins 
that the person wants. On the top margin is 3 eighths of an inch. On the right margin is 5 eighths of an inch. On the bottom margin is 1 half of an inch. And the left margin is 3 fourths of an inch. Now you cannot, on the computer, use fractions. So you have to convert these fractions into decimals. We're going to go into the studio and do this work. When you work on a computer, it's important to be able to convert fractions into decimals. I have here a sheet of paper that is 8 and 1 half by 11. And I want to have some margins in the computer, 5 eighths on the right, half inch on the bottom, 3 fourths on the left, and 3 eighths on the top. Now I cannot put in 3 eighths or a half inch. I have to convert these fractions into decimals. Now later on we're going to be teaching you how to do this on the calculator, but right now I want you to understand how to do it manually. So if we have, let's take the 1 half, so all we have to do then is divide 1 by 2, and that would be 0.5. And you'll find then the half over here that's on the bottom, and notice this is the margin. I took a print of this page on the computer, and there you see on the bottom it's 0.5. Let's take 3 fourths. Fourths and that equals, and divide, 3 by the 4. You know that 4 cannot be divided into 3, so we had a 0, and we know it's going to be 7 times. 7 times 4 is 28, and 2, take down a 0, and that will go 5. So 3 fourths equals 0.75, that's the left margin. And as you can see, that's 0.75. And we could go on doing the next one. We know that 5 eighths is 0.625. And we know the top 3 eighths is 0.375. And so you can see it's important to know your fractions. So these are common fractions. You should really memorize them. And so whenever you're working, not only on, on a computer, but on many machines, you will not be able to put fractions into the machine. You have to convert it into a decimal. If this racetrack is two and a half miles long and the race cars go around 25 times, how many miles did the race cars travel? Let's figure this out. The racetrack length is two and a half miles and the race cars went around the track 25 times. The question, how many miles did the race cars travel? So if they went around 25 times, and the length is two and a half miles, and we have to multiply 25 times two and one half. And we should know by now that two and a half is 2.5. So then we have to multiply 25 by 2.5 equals. So you multiply 25 times 2.5 equals. So the race cost traveled 62.5 miles. So the racetrack length being two and a half miles and the race cars going around 25 times, they traveled 62.5 miles. Now I have another problem that I added to this here. If the winner did it in 20 minutes, how many miles per hour did the driver average? And again we have that problem here. This is miles per hour and this is in minutes. So you have to convert 20 minutes into an hour. What portion of the hour are, is 20 minutes? So 20 minutes is 20 over 60. All right, so we have to figure out what is this equal to. And we can see that that actually is, we, I could reduce it, I'll just show you that. We don't have to do it with the calculator. We can just go here, 20, divided by 60 equals, it's 0.33333, but we'll just show you here, it's just take off the zeros, divide each side by two, and that equals one-third. And one-third equals 0.333, and add on, 
It never ends. It's a never-ending number, one-third. And so all we have to do then, and since that took 20 minutes, we divide 62.5 by 0.333. And so let's just clear the calculator. So 62.5 divided by 0.333, we'll do it three times, equals, so it's 187.69. So 187.69 miles per hour. So the race driver, the winner, if he did that in 20 minutes, going around 25 times that two and a half mile track, he averaged 187.69 miles per hour. Let's look at some of the military amphibious armored personal carriers and tanks and the ships bringing them into battle. As you watch the various scenes, think of all the math used to construct and design this elaborate equipment. Think of the designing, making prints, and reading manuals to construct this equipment. These people that did this were once just like you learning fractions. Please pause the video now and complete the problems in your workbook. When finished, press play and we'll continue with the next lesson.